What are monsoons? Monsoon refers to tropical and subtropical seasonal reversal in both the surface winds and associated precipitation caused by differential heating between a continental scale landmass and the adjacent ocean. Now, let us have a look over the regions on the earth where monsoon occurs. Monsoons mainly occur in the regions of South Asia. The other regions include parts of equatorial Africa, East and Southeast Asia, Northern Australia and to a lesser extent in the Southwestern United States. However, the most well-known monsoon occurs over Indian subcontinent. Now let us take up monsoons of India in detail. The intertropical convergent zone where the northeast trade trade winds and southeast trade winds converge in a low pressure zone moves to the north of equator and establishes itself over the Indian subcontinent during the month of July. The southeast trade winds after crossing the equator are deflected to the right by the Coriolis force forming the southwest monsoons. These pick up the moisture while travelling from sea to land and cause orographic rain once they hit the highlands of the Indian peninsula. This results in the southwest monsoon. The monsoonal winds after reaching the Indian peninsula split into two branches, the Arabian branch and the Bay of Bengal branch. The Arabian Sea branch causes rain all along the western coast. The Bay of Bengal branch strikes at the West Bengal coast and the southern slopes of Shillong Plateau. It merges with the Bay of Bengal branch over the Punjab and Himachal Pradesh. The southwest monsoon sets in over the Kerala coast by 1st June and moves swiftly to cover the entire subcontinent by 15th July. The weather conditions all over the country change with the onset of the monsoon winds. The season will be characterized by high heat, high humidity, extensive clouding and several spells of moderate to heavy rains with strong surface winds. The ITCZ gradually starts moving to the south of equator. Now we see a total reversal in the direction of the trade winds. The continent cools rapidly forming a large area of high pressure over North Central Asia known as the Siberian High and a smaller area over India. Now the drier, colder air of the continent blows offshore creating the dry monsoon season. The monsoon starts retreating from the Northwest India by September and withdraws completely from the region except the southern peninsula by mid-October. Unlike the sudden burst of the advancing monsoons, the withdrawal is rather gradual and takes about three months. The retreating monsoon picks up moisture from the Bay of Bengal and establishes over the Tamil Nadu coast and the east coast of Sri Lanka. The Tamil Nadu coast, which remains dry during the southwest monsoon period, receives its rainfall from the northeast monsoons in the month of December. During the winters, a jet stream known as subtropical westerly jet stream blows in an eastward direction south of Himalayas. This jet stream brings in the western disturbances from the Mediterranean coast which causes winter rains over the northern India. Likewise, the tropical easterly jet stream sets over central India in the monsoonal months. The high temperature over the Tibetan Plateau as well as over Central Asia in general during the summer helps in the formation of this jet over India. This jet creates a low pressure zone over the northern Indian plains influencing the wind flow towards these plains and thus assists in the establishment of the southwest monsoon. The tropical easterly jet stream steers in the rain bearing tropical cyclones which cause widespread rainfall over the eastern coast of India. Brought to you by Combate India's Jito Bharat, a one-stop internet-based interactive coaching for civil services exams. For more information, log on to www.jitobharat.com.